Hey folks, I want to invite you to join us on Sunday morning for our prayer gathering at nine o'clock, our family groups hour of Sunday school at 930, and then our worship celebration at 1040. Looking forward to gathering with you for fellowship and worship, and I hope that you'll spread the word and make plans to join us. Uh, this coming Sunday, of course, we're going to continue in the book of Acts, our sermon series as we've gone through this, talking about the purpose that we have as followers of Christ and as a church together, that our passion is the gospel, our church is our family, and our world is our mission. And so this coming Sunday, we're going to look at, at the second kind of section in Acts chapter 15 as we continue in this really important moment in church history when this they had this big council to kind of talk about these issues that were causing division between the Gentile believers and the Jewish background believers that had come to know Christ. And uh, this Sunday, as we look at verses 22 to 35, we're going to talk specifically about the freedom of our purpose, you know, the freedom that we have in Christ. And how does that impact, on the one hand, our relationship with God, and then on the other hand, our relationship with one another? And it you know, it, it should unite us. It should strengthen us. And so I'm going to really challenge you Sunday as we go through these verses to embrace the freedom that we have in Christ and to respond rightly. And so we're going to talk about a few expectations and results of the Christian freedom that we have. And so I encourage you, read those verses. In fact, read chapter 15 again, Acts chapter 15, uh, to be prepared for the message and really ask God to give you the wisdom and how you can live out the freedom that you have in Christ if you've come to know him as Savior and Lord. Looking forward to seeing you Sunday.